hi hi and welcome to roulette's play stasis this is a isometric horror game that has really good reviews but i don't know anything else about it so without a family man alone in the world trembles with the cold andre moreau maybe Malwell? Malwell. <laughs> that's not pronounced right Malroy. Malroy. Morois, <laughs> the Brotherhood presents a Christopher bitch off. Okay, <laughs> bitch off. That's not the name of the game. Ryan Cooper. Ooh, I'm getting a little excited. You guys getting a little excited? Rebecca McCarthy, Paul McCarthy's daughter. The Um Lake, Blum Blum Lake, Bird Lake. Oh, I didn't get to read the, the credits because I was too busy trying to read the name on the thing. And Misa Kutei. <laughs> Come on, give me some Japanese names. I know how to pronounce those. <laughs> French and Slavic names, not so much. Stasis. In space, no one can hear you snow. <laughs> Music by Mark Morgan. Well, good job, Mark Morgan. It's really setting the mood right now. You should be proud. Unless you just did this on like a dare or a bet. Additional music by Daniel Sadowski. Apparently, uh, he got worn out trying to come up with original music. Creative writing. Christopher Dare, Mark O'Dell, and Kyle Dun Dunagam. Dunungan. <laughs> Anyway, Christopher Derek, Christelle Bischoff. <laughs> Written by Christopher Bischoff and Nicholas Bischoff. Produced by Nicholas Bischoff. Ah, so, so Nicholas there was the money back behind. And then created by Christopher Bischoff. And then required Kristoff to like change things about the game. It's like, or else you're not getting my hundred bucks. It's so easy. I know it takes a lot more than a hundred bucks to produce a game. But... I'm a man. I'm a real boy. Wow, Stasis never looks very smooth when they have the standing up tubes. <laughs> It might be a little too cold in here if we're smoking. Just from the sheer body heat coming off our body. Alright. Well, I hope I don't have to run from anything because I'm not confident. Welcome to the Game Corporation Stasis Blood Suit. Please hold still while your biometric scans are completed. <sighs> Heart arrhythmia. Multiple fractures along ribs three. Oh, that's bad. Five, 11 and 14. Extreme muscle atrophy. Danger of heart failure. Danger of pneumothorax. Seek immediate medical attention. Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds like he has pneumonia. Medical data storage is damaged. Formatting quantum storage device. Plug suit quantum storage device is ready for physical record storage. <laughs> Smeared pool of some dark, sticky, congealed substance. Hmm. The humid steam gives off a sticky, a sickly sweet smell as it rises from the glass tube. This terminal appears to be offline. This, this isn't my ship. Are you sure? Stasis people usually can't remember anything. Subject, Marachek J, batch number, cryostasis interrupted. Set the glass tube a 
corpse hangs like a grotesque puppet tangled in the pipes and wires that it once provided light. It is now no more than a husk. Alright. Um, Anderson S. Cryo tube malfunction. Please see maintenance. Horrifying face is pressed against the glass of this pod and its skin pulled taut over its bones. Hmm. Terminal appears to be offline, so we don't know what killed that one. Jaxus P. Cryo tube malfunction. Another one? You can hoarded body inside this pod is suspended in a thick amber fluid that distorts its features. The only sound in this room is the hiss of static from the monitors. Your flickering light illuminates the leather chair, the cracks at its surface evident even beneath the shroud of dust that covers it. Oh, this is a major cracks. A well-worn leather chair. How do I... Can I sit on these things? Can I use them? Maybe I should look up the commands. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I guess that's by inventory? Yes, I think that's by inventory. I put it back away! I wanna- I, I'm done inventorying! I can only- there it goes, there it goes! I, I don't know what I did to put it away. I'm not gonna question it. Alright, the white paint has been flaking off for some time. My- my heart! Exposing the rusted metal belief a red hologram floats Please silently in the air. immediate medical attention. Pulsing integrate. the door is locked. Oh, there's no light coming from that room. Great. Increased heart rate detected. Well, yeah, Automated it's dark as balls. Automated medical care systems are non-functional. Please seek medical attention. From where and whom? <laughs> I'm oh, I don't see what's so funny, John. We're gonna die. Oh, never mind. Wrong direction. Shadows lazily across the crates. I don't see anything else to highlight over. So let's head towards the flashing red lights. That sounds like a very good life decision. Or not. Never mind. Not an option. Oh. Please. Is anyone there? I don't think they heard that, John. The chair sits vacant, the leather split with wear along the seams and rounded edges. Corroded padding protrudes from the tears. Ah, uh, ditto. Ooh. Product storage check-in system. Ooh, what the hell was that? Something looks like it was dragged through the blood there. Alright, product storage checklist. Uh, <laughs> I'm product storage. That's good. That was us, right? John Marachek? Marachek? Penitia to Dr. Essex. We are well happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the new head nurse. It was a sad day when Nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures, quote-unquote. She will be missed. As our cloning facility has been deemed too costly, we're happy to note that product stores have now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. So I'm a clone. We're now the number one supplier of human specimens. Woo! Ah, uh, go us. Good job, everybody. After the unfortunate incident in Product Storage 2, we'll be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance, starting with a new lockdown security system. Thank you for your hard work. Two weeks ago, a false security lockdown occurred in Product Storage 2 and 3. Kane Corporation has terminated operation on both floors until a cleanup crew can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew death and the expiration of 12 unopened products occurred due to the emergency venting procedures. All right. So, the words holograph, oh, holotron, projector. The machine is smashed. All right, out we go. These are offline. Dried blood streaks the floor in a wide swath, as if someone has been dragged or slowly crawled away. It's hard to tell if it came from and went to the inf infirmary door. I didn't get to hear what that said. A bank of static filled monitors line the wall. Uh, same dim distorted images. Just 
That doesn't make me nervous or anything. Let's go towards the blood. Um, hello? Cribs. Huh. Hastily discarded screens. Hospital bed. Angle of long discarded and moldering bed linens line this infant's crib. Dark stains smear the bars, which otherwise empty. Light passes through the bars, creating stark shadows on the walls behind. Alright. Uh, I feel very comfortable entering this room. I am, of course, lying my ass off. Oh. Groom Lake Infirmary is a Groom Lake. Of course they don't. What the fuck? Terrifying. Malfunctioning machines are always terrifying. The ventilator sits motionless and unable to sustain life. An abandoned wheelchair. Can I use the wheelchair? Might help. I saw it. Computer terminals are covered in a sticky veil of cobwebs and dust, indicating they have not been used in a long time. How long have I been abandoned? Peeling label on the side bin reads, Excess surgical equipment only. This equipment provides a medical diagnosis of a species through a non-invasive scanning procedure. Treatment is administrated through a nanite solution drug cocktail is delivered intravenously. And some beds. Uh, several pieces of surgical equipment have been laid out on the tray. They're corroded and caked to dry blood. Good God. I'm guessing I can't open this stuff. Find a set of decomposition wafts from the bins marked organic waste. Ugh. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> What is that noise? And is it coming for me? I don't think I want to be here if it's coming for me. Alright, so we need to figure out another way to go because... Oh! Breaker box! This appears to be an, el an electrical distribution panel for infirmary power grid. Numerous circuit breakers for powering systems in the infirmary. Let's touch it! Um, fuck. Well, none of this stuff seems to work. Happens if I push buttons. Push, push. Okay. Power life support dog bait scanner. So that gives me a little bit of the power. Alright. Oh, that over blew everything. Okay, so I can't... I can only turn, like, two things on. So... First, I guess we... scan ourselves? Emergency life support active. Right? I think we, we scan ourselves first. Alright, so... Uh, ventilator... Where is the emergency life support? Okay, maybe I should just turn on the robot instead. Huh? Turn this on. Turn this on. Robot exertion active. And let's go see if we could use the robotic surgeon. <laughs> see if it'll help me not die. <laughs> All right, surgery logs. Operator KSL's product peace out. Cranial bone extract for Super Labs. Last surgery completed before. Spec op surgery lockdown. Product expired during surgery, but bone extraction was successful. The neural drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. Please get maintenance down here to fix it. Alright, electrical failure in the nuclear thing. That doesn't sound good. Please choose a surgical requirement below to extend arm and refit tool. Skin harvesting, product spinal tagging. 
a high speed neural drill. Huh. Alright, uh, I think we need to figure out what's wrong with us first. So let's turn on that doc mate scanner again. This one should be it then. There we go. Alright, let's find out what's wrong with us. Okay. Okay. Oh, the slowest of walks. Dark made scanner active. Multiple injuries yeah. detected. Emergency medical kit created. Thank Midnight you. Night solution, anticoagulant, and morphine combination suggested. Yeah, I'll definitely take the morphine. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, this is like really unnerving. Alright. Uh, the med kit sits on a glowing slab and automatically filled with the required doses of medication. Med kit here! <laughs> Pills here. A uh, mixture and an empty syringe. Let's uh, fill those up. Let's inject the shit out of ourselves. Uh, deep breath. He's not a needle person, clearly. Uh, Should be feeling pretty good. But, but in a few Dad, minutes. Sandy said that if you have bad dreams and you can't wake up, that you'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca, don't worry, you won't have any dreams for Becca's the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy, and I promise they'll go away. I don't think you now get legs to up, squeeze Teddy if you're in stasis. There you go. <clears throat> She's not even so holding good, Teddy! No! Wait, sing it. Sing the song. John? No! Looks like we have a Wait. song to sing. <laughs> Go to sleep, my baby girl. Wow, you guys got back up. Man, mom and dad took this to the next level. They have harmonies going on. Monsters can't harm you or me. Close your eyes again and worry no more. She's Stars signing while she's singing it. The moons, they will pass us by soon. A new day will surely be. Upon you and me. So go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed. Soon you will. Someone wind the music box. So drift away, sleepy head. What? I didn't even no, say goodnight or anything. Just told her that we're gonna have so many drugs in our system that we'll barely remember our own names. Uh, yeah. Somehow squeezing Teddy seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug-induced coma. <laughs> we are almost done here. Do I get a Teddy? You, you get a hug. Oh ho ho, a hug. Rebecca. I need to... My, my wife... My child... So, they don't make clone, they just abduct people and erase here. their memory? Or do they implant Vital false memories? Vital medical functions into have them. been restored to benchmark levels. Yay! I'm alive enough that the game will no longer feel bad about killing me. That's good. So, maybe... Maybe I could do something more to the life support. Emergency life support active. 
All right, well, I'm gonna leave that on in hopes that that uh, opens up other doors and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the game so far. I'm really intrigued. And the atmosphere is almost oppressive as fuck. <laughs> Give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content. And thanks, you guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. All right. Bye, bye, bye. Other hand. Put it on the table. Oh, this is... Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do this. Strike it. Oh, oh. Thank you.